And now, News 8, honoring this year's remarkable women. Welcome back. We are joined now by Van Stanley, who has been named News 8's Remarkable Woman of the Year. Van, thank you so much for joining us. Alongside her is her sister, Tammy Moore, who nominated her for this recognition. We're so happy to have you both here. And we're thank gonna speak you. to you just a little bit now, Van. Sure. Tell me how you're feeling. Oh, this is overwhelming. This is like unreal. It's like a dream. Because this is what I love to do, give back. So to be honored and recognized for something, I think not twice. I just do it instinctively to give back is amazing. So I am like in shock. I'm in awe. So Aww. thank you, Channel 8 News. And, all the great remarkable women that were nominated awesome stories I was like wow so thank you well thank you for all you do in our, our community uh, your younger you. sister Tammy obviously yes. recognized all your efforts Tammy tell me why you nominated her um, my sister is just outstanding um, her strength her courage her bravery it takes a lot to first start a business to run the business and then to do all the things that she's doing in her community is outstanding and no. I didn't want that to go unnoticed. Oh, absolutely, and we're happy Thank to you. recognize it. Uh, Tammy, you've been growing up with her, obviously, for a long time. Has she always been so giving and so yes. motivated to help others? Absolutely. Um, at 16, she gave me my first diamonds. <laughs> but this is no comparison to what she's doing in her community. Um, there's no comparison. The diamonds compared to all the lives she's touching is remarkable. Well, Van, we've yes. talked a little bit after we did this story on you yeah. about the efforts you're continuing to do in our community. Tell me yes. a little bit about those. Okay, right now what we have coming up is an Easter event. It's going to be held on April 16th. That's going to be alongside with RPD, Soccer Sam, and Gates Police, uh, Todd Baxter. They're going to bring the Mountain Patrol. I swear I love horses. We're going to try our best to have like 200 kids get free gifts in Rochester Fire Department. I tell you, I have a village behind me, and whenever they say, Van, you need it, we're here for you. So I want to thank law enforcement and the owner, Boss House, they all, all of these great business owners that contribute and are first responders. If only people know how much the law enforcement makes Christmas possible and Thanksgiving possible for families in need. And Van, my last question for you. Yes. What are you hoping to inspire in the community? What do you want to have a legacy? Well. I want these young ladies and young men, the, uh, entrepreneurs that's coming up behind me, to realize it's such a great feeling to give back and to find something that they're passionate about or different uh, charities and see if they can help make their community a better place. It takes a village and it takes everyone to get on board and try to help our community because we need a lot of, a lot of help. And for, to me, to give smiles to different kids and parents' face, mm -hmm. it means the world and I would love for young ladies and men to grab that torch and keep going and see what it feels like. Well, thank you for all you've done for our community. We are so happy to have you here. Your sister, she flew in to yes. join us here today. So thank you both for being here at News 8. Uh, Teresa, we're going to send it back to you. All right. Well, thank you all, ladies. And a special thanks to the remarkable women we've highlighted tonight. Your stories inspire us all to be better and to be the best we can be. For Allie Peters, I'm Teresa Marsenberg. Thank you for watching.